be good. It's all okay now. It's all okay now, sweetie. They were bred in a facility in Virginia to be sold for animal testing. And now a local humane society is joining organizations across the country in rescuing some 4,000 beagles from heartbreaking conditions, hoping to find them loving homes. In May, the Department of Justice sued the company and Vigo, alleging a slew of Animal Welfare Act violations. Now, here's what inspectors reported. Dogs were being killed instead of receiving care for easily treatable ailments. Many were injured from living in overcrowded cages. Nursing beagles were denied food or given food containing maggots, mold, and feces. And at least 25 beagle puppies died from cold exposure. And Vigo agreed to a settlement last month to shut down the facility, but it did not admit to any wrongdoing. TV5's James Felton reports on the road to recoveries for some of these beagles and explains how a bill in Lansing could help rescue more dogs from dying in labs. Never touched grass, never experienced life outside of a cage. Beth Wellman talking about these beagles rescued from a research facility in Virginia. The Humane Society of Midland County Shelter Director tells us the male dogs, who are seven to nine months old, are available for foster to adopt. That means beagles can go home, but the HSOMC finishes taking care of their medical needs instead of sitting in the shelter for weeks. They desperately um, deserve to be into homes and start living their lives. And Wellman tells me there are beagles being used for research right here in Michigan. That's why she wants state lawmakers to act on legislation known as Teddy's Law. Teddy's Law does not stop animal research, but what it does is after the experiments are over, it gives the option for some of these animals to go up for adoption. The proposed measure has been in the Committee on Regulatory Reform since May 2021. Wellman is urging the chair of that committee, State Representative Roger Hauck, to move the bill forward. Wellman tells us lives are at stake. There's over 600 beagles in testing facilities in Michigan right now that after they're done, they're going to be euthanized. But that won't be the case for these beagles. Wellman says as of Wednesday morning, 28 of the 50 beagles from Virginia were still available. Better make that 27. That's because Mark Kennedy stopped by to take one home for his family. Oh, it's just great. Next, I've been around beagles all my life, so I It'd be great to make sure one of them at least gets a her proper home. For her part, Wellman expects all the Beagles to have a new place to call home soon. I'm very excited.